underpinning a lot of your writing is this sense that we're screwed. <laughs> but it just feels like it's an engineering problem. I don't understand why we're screwed. It, it, we, time and time again, humanity has gotten itself into trouble and figured out a way to get out of the trouble. We are in a situation where people making more capable systems just need more resources. They don't need to invent anything, in my opinion. Some will disagree, but so far at least I don't see diminishing returns. If you have 10x compute, you will get better performance. The same doesn't apply to safety. If you give uh, MIRI or any other organization 10 times the money, they don't output 10 times the safety. And the gap between capabilities and safety becomes bigger and bigger all the time. So it's hard to be completely optimistic about our results here. I can name 10 excellent breakthrough papers in machine learning. I would struggle to name equally important breakthroughs in safety. A lot of times a safety paper will propose a toy solution and point out 10 new problems discovered as a result. It's like this fractal. You're zooming in and you see more problems and it's infinite in all directions. Does this apply to other technologies or is this, is this unique to AI where safety is always lagging behind? So I guess we can look at related technologies with cybersecurity, right? We, we did manage to have banks and casinos and Bitcoin. So you can have secure, narrow systems, which are doing okay. Uh, narrow attacks on them fail, but you can always go outside, outside of a box. So if I can not hack your Bitcoin, I can hack you. So there is always something. If I really want it, I will find a different way. We talk about uh, guardrails for AI. Well, that's a fence. I can dig a tunnel under it. I can jump over it. I can climb it. I can walk around it. You may have a very nice guardrail, but in a real world, it's not a permanent guarantee of safety. And again, this is a fundamental difference. We are not saying we need to be 90% safe to get those trillions of dollars of benefit. We need to be 100% indefinitely, or we might lose the principle. 